Friday. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So y'all, I decided to do some. I took the day off, y'all. My throat was hurting so bad earlier. And it was burning. And I did get me some medicine and take for it. And it did um, help cool that down. So now I'm trying to get me something to eat. Because I have not eaten since early this morning. So without further ado, I'm going to tell y'all what I have and say grace and get started. So I have a couple of Dungeness crabs here. have some shrimp. And I got some corn back here in the back. Of course, I have my coldest water bottle on deck. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say grace and get started. Heavenly Father, I thank you for this meal that I'm about to receive for the nourishments of my body. Lord, I ask you to allow it to be nourishment and not harm. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So hey y'all, how y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing amazing. Got some of my shrimp and of course in my bowl I have my mayo and ketchup dip. Yo, I have began to love that so much. I prefer having that now. Instead of actually having um, butter. This might be TMI, but I don't have a gallbladder. So butter sometimes irritates my stomach because it's greasy. So I just, I don't, um, I don't indulge in it as much as I used to for that simple fact. Although butter is um, a more healthier alternative than margarine, I just, I can't digest it, so I leave it alone. There you go, y'all. I'll go ahead and get that bite. Mm. Absolutely amazing. And y'all, let me get me some paper towel. It is nice here in Carolina today. See, I got my little short sleeves on, but I'm in the house. But I went out earlier. It was wasn't too hot, but it was comfortable. I could go out like this and be comfortable. Mmm. Yo, I love me some shrimp here. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I got my Dungeness from, um, what's the name of it? Harris Teeter in Florence. There we go, y'all. Go ahead and get your bite. Mm. Those are cooked just right. Y'all look at this crab. It is huge. The camera probably don't even do it justice. But it is huge, I tell you. I hope you guys are eating on something good today. I've been wanting this and wanting this, so I was like, let me go ahead and fix this so I can enjoy it. Most people do seafood on Friday, so hey, why not? Mm. Mm -hmm. So y'all, another thing that I'm going to make, and it may be tomorrow, some seafood mac and cheese. I've been wanting that for the longest time. But with my little busy schedule, I just haven't had time or taken time out to actually make it. So y'all, let's get into this crab. Yes, sir. Mm. Got to break it on down, break it on down. This bad boy is full of meat. Y'all, I had to 
really learn how to get into these and how to eat them. But with these, the shells are soft, so it don't require as much cracking and breaking as it do with the king crab. And also with the um, snow crab. The meat is so good. Mm. Delicious. My little fat buddy here, y'all waiting. He waiting on me to drop something so he can get it. I came back crabs for me at midnight now. Look at that. Pure meat. Oh, broke it so tender. Shout out to my cousins Eric and Stephanie Sessions for putting me on to Harris Teeter so I can get these. They are normally $13.99 a pound, but they do um, put them on sale a lot for $9.99. So I keep watching the sale, weekly sale flyer. Let's see when they have them on sale. Y'all, I'm going to go in there and try to get me a case. So I have it. I'm sure you guys have already heard by now. Look at that seasoning, y'all. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, my goodness. You guys have heard that the third stimulus package have passed already been signed by the president and they should start coming out as early as tomorrow Saturday the first wave is going to be the um, people that get theirs electronically me <laughs> mm. so if you guys you get your money your tax return electronically if you have that um, bank account on file, then more than likely that's where you're going to get your stimulus at. So y'all, it's important to keep your information up to date with stuff like that because when you don't and it, if it goes to a closed bank account or an account that you, well, closed and, or an account that you no longer um, keep, then you're going to have a time. They're going to end up sending you a paper check. So, that's what makes your money get prolonged. But I always go direct deposit when it's available because it's easier. Look at that, y'all. All pure meat. My goodness. Mm. Yes. So do y'all have any plans for the weekend? I don't have nothing out of the ordinary. But I do want me and my husband to get us another a little weekend getaway before the season pick up where he's working. Him and my son because then they'll be working on weekends. And we won't be able to go and enjoy ourselves like we would if he wasn't having to work on the weekend. So hopefully we can get that in. I want to go down to Savannah for a weekend. All right, y'all. This little treat right here is right up my alley. make sure when I go back there to the seafood market to get mine, I ask them to give me some pretty good sized ones because I don't want to waste my money on them little skimpy ones. 
bigger they are, the more meat they have. Go ahead, y'all. Get you a bite there. Mouthful of goodness. Now I'm having headaches, but I think it's um, because pollen is already starting to fall. You know, every season you get rid of one allergen for another and trade it for another. so tender. Mm. You know, I'm going to start putting my corn and everything in this. Mm. Amazing sauce. It's just pure and simple, too. It's just, um, some people use mayonnaise and mustard. I use mayo and ketchup. I like that one better. I'm not a real big fan of mustard. And you know, they also sell um, these Dungeness and Sam's, but they're much more expensive. getting mine from Sam's before my cousins put me on to Harris Tito. On my full lion extra sweet corn, nothing better. That's one of my favorite vegetables. It can be in the can, on the cob. And it's just one of my favorites. Mm. Gotta suck that juice out, y'all. And I like because the meat come out whole. Thought I felt a piece of shell.
Y'all forgive me if I'm not talking. I ain't got time to talk today. That seasoning. Piece of the thin, y'all. Mm. The thin is good. Here to enjoy this with me. Excuse me. Get the shell. I mean, that y'all enjoy shrimp just as much as I do. I like just about any kind of seafood. With that reason, I don't want no shark, I don't want no alligator. Mm -mm. I like oysters. My mother loved clams. I can eat them, but they tend to be on the tough side. I'm not crazy about them. I like roasted oysters and roasted, um, roast, I like my oysters roasted or either steamed and fried. I know when we were young, my grandfather used to have what the old folks used to call a wash pot. It was like a big old black pot. And back in the day, they used to wash clothes in it. But then as they got more modern with the washing machine and drying and that was all before my time i'm just talking about what they told me um my grandfather used to make a a fire outside and put that big old black wash pot on it and put some water in it let it get good and hot and then um take a sack and put those oysters in and let them steam to the um you know to the mouth come open and boy we stood around that little pigs with our knife eating our oysters it was good Y'all, yeah, those were the good old days of my childhood memories. All of my grandparents now are all dead and gone on both sides of my family, but I do have some good memories. I thank God for the memories. All right, let's work on this other crab leg here. Yeah. All closer.
easier for me to eat y'all when I break it down. Let's see. <clears throat> I've been on here 20 minutes, y'all. I'm not gonna hold y'all on this video too long. I just wanted to come on here and see how y'all were doing. Share my little snack with you guys. Throw that meat right there. I lost some of it in myself. Mm. My little buddy, Mr. Midnight, laying right there looking. That's a great little fella. I love my kitty, though, y'all. He's a good cat. So loyal. I wish she could. There was a cure for asthma to get rid of that. I hate to see him suffer with that. Well, he's still here by the grace of God. All right, so y'all. I'm going to just go ahead and finish this off camera because I'm already 20 minutes in this video and I don't want to make it too long. But I'd like to say thank you for my new subscribers that have recently joined me. I appreciate you guys so much more than you will ever know. And also I have a playlist. I keep forgetting to mention my playlist, y'all. I have a few playlists. Um, feel free to check it out and see what I have going on on that. And I also like to also make you aware with my coldest water bottle link um if you choose to use it my affiliate link you will get 10 percent off your total purchase if you choose to use it so with that being said y'all if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button y'all please give this video a like and hit that uh all button when you subscribe so that you're notified each time i upload a new video i love you guys with the love of jesus i hope you all have a wonderful weekend and I want you all to stay safe and stay blessed. Good night.